What's up guys, it is time to collect more mounts and I just got another one and if you are farming mounts in Shadowlands then you probably know this location, you probably already know the mount I just got, it's actually a massive one, let's go ahead and learn it, it is the End Maya Flyer, drops off of Famu the Infinite that spawns uh, right here in Revendreth where I currently am, let's heal my battle pads up as well while we're at it and um, a lot of people are spending a lot of time farming this mount actually so I did not even need 100 tries <laughs> to get this this may make you mad but uh, I've actually I learned about it recently and then I was actually spam farming it for like three days on both of my accounts I think I did like about maybe like 50 60 attempts something in that neighborhood it's tough for me to exactly um, say it right now because uh, it's being tracked uh, uh, through rarity but across two accounts so it's a little bit annoying but it I would say about like 50 60 tries so yeah um, right now I was able to get it on this like little alt hunter guy here and it is one of these mites the mount itself uh, it's cool but I don't know it's not crazy to me it's more the fact that um, Oh, the way it walks is kind of funny though. Look at his legs. <laughs> the fact that this is like so hard to farm, uh, or I don't know if I want to say hard to farm, but like, I know, for example, Asmund Gold doesn't have this and he has like 300 tries on it already or something. I sometimes look into it, watch his stream. So, yeah, <laughs> feels like a big, um, big mount to get for sure. And uh, one more Shadowlands mount knocked out. I, I'm gonna try to get every single Shadowlands mount on my simple armory before the expansion ends. That's the goal. And yeah, um, anyway, it's another achievement mount. So that's why we cannot learn it here, but you already can see it right there. The Colossal Soul Shredder Morat is for um, getting Flawless Master layer 16 in Torghast. So Basically, you need to complete all the different um, all the different ones uh, flawless, like all the different layers. No, not layer. Uh, what is it even called? All the different wings. That's what I meant to say. Then you get this more red, and hmm, it kind of reminds me of a hyena, honestly, the way it walks, runs, whatever. I like the fact that it is a small mount, but for a high mount Tauron it's definitely too small. And hmm, I guess it's kind of cool that it's like golden or whatever, but overall, I don't know, it's a bit weird, I think. I don't know, this is probably just going to be another number in the collection. Um, it is the... Wakener's rune stack amount that you can get in the Queen's Conservatory for me since I am Night Fae on my Hunter. And um, let's mount up Wakener's rune stack. There it is. And it is a rune stack, surprisingly. Um, so, in case you are interested in how to get this, this one. Um, actually, let's look at the mount first one time. So. There we go, the mount special. Yeah, I think the rune stacks pretty much all of the same one. It's a pretty nice mount, honestly, I like it. I think it's cool. I was actually using one of these mounts for a while when it fit my transmogs, so I actually do like these. I think they are really, really nice. And yeah, so anyway, if you want to get this, um, what you need is you need these items, the wild seed root grain thingies. You can get them through doing callings while having your um, conservatory at a certain level. Or you can get them through doing the daily quests from these guys back there. Or you can farm them if you incubate like this stuff here, the wild seed root grain stuff. And then you need to, this is actually important, you need to do this. So you will put one wild seed root grain here. You will put one wild seed root grain here. And then you put um, the Night Fae Spirit, this one, the Greater Untamed Spirit, in the seed. The, the order is important, yeah? You have to do the grains first and then the spirit after. So it is. So you basically need a Wild Seed of Regrowth with a Greater Untamed Spirit in it that is, has been infused previously by 
two of these wild seed root grains to increase the quality and then you get this mount i think it i'm not sure if it's a chance or if it's guaranteed i actually got mine out of this seed which is always the first one i incubated then i just went through and put it in all the other ones as well because if you need only two wild seed root grains to fuel one um, seed then you can actually do that on every single one except this one uh so yeah i actually i think i think it might even be a 100 percent drop if you do the double the double uh wild seed root grain um but yeah anyway it was way too long turned out to, to be a little bit of a guide the spine more glacier right there and that is a mount that you can farm in iron wield let's go ahead and mount up Ooh. Okay, so it's a pretty massive gorm. Um, you farm it by killing elite mobs in this small area here, the deranged guardians. And if you kill enough and then kill the things that ride them, then uh, a rare mob is going to spawn here. Gorm tamer Tizo, and he is going to drop this mount, which is. It actually looks really sick in this lighting with the blue. Like in general, these gorms, I, I'm not so sure about, like if I like them or not, but uh, I don't know, and this light this actually looks pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. What's going on down there? It also looks pretty sick. A protective soul running rampant. Yeah, the gorms, I don't know, I mean, there are gorms and yeah. Anyway, got another one, so that's good. Really working hard on filling out the Shadowlands collection and I am making moves. Uh, I have a plan and hopefully I will be able to do it before the expansion ends. That's the goal. Anyway, and it is unfortunately another one that we cannot learn, but it's an achievement one. You can already see it right there. The Hand of Salaranga. <laughs> and yeah it's a hand um the achievement is uh, uh, uh breaking the chains which is all the core the courtier and uh, the more achievement thingy so man pets just annoy me when i do this i don't know hand off i thought this time i was gonna give him a chance I'm gonna let him stay out but as soon as I start, he's already starting to block my view again, so... Yeah, I'm not sure, guys. What do you think about these hand mounts? Um... Hmm. Like, riding it is not too bad, but... Hmm. I don't know, it's just a bit weird to me. I don't really see myself... Honestly, I like the way it moves. I have to say, I have to admit that, like, more than I would... Um... More than I would like to admit, like, it's relatively small and like the way it moves around, I do like it. It's also kind of cool that it sort of like goes down once you... But I don't know, it's just a bit weird to me. I guess these mounts are pretty cool since they are like new with Shadowlands, right? They got added with Shadowlands, they, I don't think they existed before. At least not to my knowledge, so... I mean, <laughs> we got another one, that's good. The Gore Spine! There it is, the Nerissa Heartless Mount. I just got it on my um, Alliance Demon Hunter. On like the. I think I was already. I was definitely already over 50 tries. It's supposed to be 1 in 50. Uh, I was like at 60 ish, I would say. Not quite sure, but I was always farming it on two account, uh, like both accounts at the same time, so. Yeah. Um. I was gonna say this here at the back looks a bit weird, but that's actually my weapons uh, on this guy. So yeah, gore spine, man. It's cool, honestly. I, I like it. Uh, I like the way. I believe this type of mount was added. Like the the skeleton is from World of Draenor, all right? Like I believe those boars, uh, hawks, whatever you wanna call it, that are are like this. Like the way the back legs move looks a bit weird to me, and I, I think it's like an older skeleton but overall i actually like this mount honestly i'm not gonna lie like i think it's pretty cool what do these guys want to go spine hurry we need to we need to flee 
rapidly we're being attacked. No, uh, honestly, I like this mount. I think it's cool. I can actually see myself using it, maybe. Um, like, what if you would play an un... Yeah, now what? What does this guy want to tell me? Like, is he attacking me? Like, what is this guy doing? Anyway, uh, I, what I was gonna say, if you play like an undead character or something, I think this is a really cool mount that I am actually about to restore my previously deleted undead hunter, so I think I might actually be using this as the ground mount on that character. And now he just falls... Dude. This guy. Um, yeah, cool mount. Cool mount. I said it enough time to look at the eyes. What? I didn't even see that previously. That is actually sick. All my little alliance druid right here. I did actually manage to get the Hope Crusher Gargan right there. And man, I am happy about this. Let's go ahead and mount up. Boom. There we go. So it is a Gargan, surprisingly. Um. Okay, mount special. It gets like a bone out of the ground or something. I actually haven't seen that one before. Um, let's see how it moves. Okay, so I actually like this, honestly. It's pretty small. Um, the way it moves is kind of cool. I could actually see myself using this, honestly. Probably not on a druid, because I'm not really the kind of guy that uses mounts on druids, but... This is actually such a good mount to get out of the way. This, in case you don't know, this can only be looted by Venthyr. So, by default, I have actually one Venthyr on my account. <laughs> on like, uh, I don't know how many level 60s do I have now? 25 level 60s. And one of them is usually Venthyr. So, I had to make some changes, switch some characters to get more Venthyrs and definitely been losing some gold farming this mount because you can't use night mission table and stuff like that of course and yeah it's such a good one to get out of the way i think i have one um one necrolord mount left that i that only necrolords can loot and after that i think i can make all of my old night again which is gonna be super nice but yeah anyway um i think this was actually the last mount where i needed several characters or wanted several characters to be vent here to be more efficient. I actually got kind of lucky. I got it in like, I think 30 to 40 tries. It's one out of 100. So definitely kind of lucky, but I'm actually so happy to get this one out of the way because it's so annoying to have to be a vent here. Because I just got the predatory plague cock right here. There we go. Necrolord only mount. You need to be Necrolord to be able to loot it. Plague cock, there it is. Go ahead and mount up. I actually got it on this character, which is kind of funny. This is my old uh, gathering druid that actually just hit level 60. So let's check it out. So it is the plague cock. We all know these from Plague Fall. And dude, his face is kind of fucked up. If this guy tries to eat something, its food is gonna the food is straight up gonna fall through the middle of its I guess it doesn't try to eat too much stuff. Um, yeah. Um, let's do the mount special one time actually. Mount special. Okay. Yeah, that was sort of to be expected. Uh, fly it around a little bit. Um, what is this skeleton? What is this model? It's a dragon, right? I actually like the way it flies. Is this like the Storm Drake? Um, it reminds me of the storm breaks the way it flies. 
It's very straight and very stable. I like the storm drakes a lot, and I like the way this this flies. It, dude, the eyes are kind of crazy. I mean, overall, I think it's pretty ugly. I'm probably not gonna use it, but hey, another one for the collection. There we go, boys. That's and it is this mount. The Explorers Dune Tracker, so this is a recruit friend mount, so I recently recruited myself for my second account, as you guys may or may not know, and one of the first rewards is this... Is it a camel? I'm not sure. It is a two-seater mount, you know, recruit a friend, go figure. Um, yeah, it has to be a camel at this size, right? Or mm -mm, is there another... Hmm. Is I, th I'm, I think it is a camel. The camels that we know uh, are a lot smaller usually, so... Actually, guys, this snake looks pretty cool. I'm just realizing that now. Good job, Blizzard. I like that snake. Um, but yeah, anyway. Um, the Explorer's Dune Tracker. I want to ride it. I want to see how it moves. Is this the... Caravan Brutosaur Rick. It, this reminds me a lot of the long boy. It's cool though. Like I like it actually. I think it's really nice. Whenever I have to carry somebody in the future, I will just bust. If when somebody says, "Yeah, I do we have a two-seater mount?" I'm just gonna bust this guy out, man. <laughs> Dude, actually, I wanna now. I wanna go to Zeroth Mortis to one of the rare groups where somebody's always asking, hey, "Does somebody have a two-seater flying mount?" I'm just gonna bust this guy out, but now I want to see it with the moves. This really reminds me of... Ah, a little bit different. It feels like the long boy steps are faster, but I don't know. It's similarly big. Anyway, so... Um, yeah. The Explorer's Dune Tracker. So, I want to document every single mount that I add to my collection, so that's why I put it in the video. Um... I also may be buying store mounts in the future, uh, not with real money, but with in-game gold, just because that is going to be mounts that I can add to my collection. I may be doing that. I'm not doing it right now because I don't have um, enough gold uh, for that right now. I want to keep my gold and I have other purposes that I think I will still need gold for. Um, I have been farming this for actually... I've been farming this only for a couple of days. It just seems for longer because I use many characters and uh, I get many attempts. And so I have actually been overdue on the Blisterback Blood Tusk drop, drops of Warbringer Korak here in Maldraxxus. So let's go ahead and mount up on this bad boy. So it's another hog. Um, what is the difference between this one and the gore spine? Now I actually want to mount up on gore spine next to this guy, but I don't have a second character here now. Anyway, it's another one of those hawks. I already said when I made the gore spine video that I, I really like these mounts, actually. I think they are really cool. And yeah, this is just another one uh, that is definitely not bad. I'm actually just gonna mount up on gore spine right now. And then we're gonna compare gore spine. There it is. Oh, so it's just a different color, okay. Yeah, I did not remember that gore spine is like this more pale, whatever. Oh yeah, so we don't have to have a different color pattern for if you want to play undead and uh, have matching mount order. Ooh, I can actually use this for an alt. Um, but anyway, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Um, got another one, pretty nice, the Blisterback Blood Tusk. And I'm actually getting close to having all the rare mounts uh, from Shadowlands now, which is nice. I got myself the Mossworn Soul Hunter right here. Mount that comes from the Hunt and the Beastborns. So let's go ahead and mount up. 
Soul Hunter. Boom, it's been in the game for a while, of course, since the very beginning of Shadowlands, um, but I didn't really play at that time. And um, yeah, recently I've been getting a lot of mounts, so I did start farming this one too and it took me a couple of times of this being up but uh, now i have it so that is definitely pretty nice this annoying dog man i already killed this guy two times and yeah uh, i think we all know this mount we all know how it moves and stuff like that i do actually like this because it's like small um, and i like small mounts so this is actually pretty cool i did actually use the other version the torgast one um, on my dk for a while the armor sounds are a little bit annoying, um, but overall I think it's a cool mount and yeah, I, as I said, I have actually been using this in the past, well the other version. So yeah, another one for the collection, very nice. That is going to be the Wriggling Parasite from Glory of the Nyalotha Raider. Zoom out, there it is. Um, so yeah, it's another one of these worms. Kind of weird, kind of ugly. I don't know if anybody really writes these things. Um, yeah, I don't know what Blizzard were thinking when they made a mount. It looks like sperm, but yeah, uh, it's another number in the collection, so that's a good thing. And oof, I just put a lot of effort in to get myself the next one. It is going to be the... You can already see it right there, the Shimmering Auralit. Glory of the Sepulcher Raider. And man, I just spent almost four hours with randoms. Well, not randoms, the achievement discord, so we were on voice and everything like that, that definitely helped out, but almost four hours. And I had to play healer. Ugh! Disgusting. I'm not that good at playing healer, especially not in raid, like I'm decent in M+, I'd say. But in raid, man. But they needed healers, so I was like, yeah, have a geared shaman so i guess i'll come heal hey the things you do for another mount right but there it is dude the last achievement mount um the last raid achievement mount of shadowlands well actually there is going to be one next patch right the one where you have to clear all the raids on heroic or something anyway um yeah we did it, and in my opinion, this is the best looking aura lead. Actually, there's three of these, right? Oh, that's bright, and I like this one. Um, it's cool, and I definitely feel achieved right now in uh, earning this. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for now. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I will see you all later. Peace out.